I've been a web designer for the past 15 years and 3.js is changing the game. If you haven't heard of 3.js, it's a JavaScript library that essentially allows you to make some pretty insane 3D models and bring them into web. Today I'm looking at some of the best personal portfolios made with 3.js. And if you'd like to see more of these, make sure to change your position to subscribed and hit that like button to let me know you want to see more. So first up, we've got a site called Red Collar, creating digital products with a human face. Now this is a 3D element that they brought in, this kind of subtle face that follows you around the website, but the lighting on it is just beautiful. They've got cool little logos up here, these amazing little logos to show that we're the leaders in our industry. And when you hover over them, there's this cool little element that pops up and floats around, which is super sexy. When you scroll down, you can see they've got this nice masking effect, which changes that white to a black color, super nice. And then we scroll down even further, wow, and it fills up with color, which is crazy. And then we can view their show reel, but I'll carry on going. Look at these colors, they're just beautiful. And as we scroll down, we can see their portfolio again with the 3D items. They've got this nice flip effect, which is really cool. And as you go down, it actually changes for each one you visit. So we've got a watch company, we've got a microphone company, a nice little whale layer, which might be my favorite. Scrolling down, we've got nice elements that slide up, which just kind of go over the different services they offer. Again, with these super cool 3D elements that you can even interact with, showcasing all of the awards that they've made and some testimonials. And they've got these really cool portrait images which tell you a little bit about their team. Email's not dead, send us an email, it's pretty cool. So let's just go back up and take a look at their showreel. So the showreel takes me in. Okay. Okay. Pretty damn cool. So that just plays a video. How do I leave that? Okay, let's not play the whole video, but that's pretty damn cool. So seamless and it's fast, which is really impressive. We take a look at their work, go into an individual work page, slides to the left, and then we get into the actual content of the design, what they've done and how it's worked. The thing I always find crazy with these designs is because the homepage has had so much work and effort put into it, these almost seem a little bit too static for me, but hey ho, it's personal preference. Looking at the menu, super nice. We've got this flipping coin in black, which is so subtle. And we can take a look at the company. Oh, the color's changing, the color's changing. That's really, really nice. Let's go onto the company page. Okay, so there's this guy upside down. These characters are a bit freaky, but they're pretty damn cool. Oh, and I love this, look at this, wow. So we've got smiley faces, you can interact with them. So it just shows these are a huge team, 130 people, 11 years, they take up an entire floor. That's pretty damn cool, a lot about their work. I think on this page, it would be nice to see a bit more about the company, but overall, what a stunning website. Let's go on to Tribune. So that page, wow, they've got this amazing typography effect at the top, that's super nice. Wow, it flips over. I mean, the stuff you can do with this 3D is so, so cool. And we can see down here, I think these are the different events and things they've been speaking at, which is pretty amazing. And overall, this one is such a beautiful website. I mean, it's so fast, smooth, and the 3D elements seem to just load in seamlessly. Definitely looking at taking some of these elements into my next designs. Next up, we've got Bambook Studios. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> Vibrant design that changes, cool. So we scroll down, we've got this nice kind of scroll hover effect coming in here. We deliver, so we can look at the different things. So we've got the web, what they do on web, branding, strategy. I mean, these reveal effects are just pretty damn awesome. Video, we've got illustrations, character development, get in touch, projects. Okay, so we can see the work down here. So we can take a look at their web work. A little bit underwhelming, but it's pretty subtle, pretty nice, shows off what they do. And then we've got these elements that kind of come in. We've got the loading circles, you go down, we've got the polygon panda, which is pretty cool, and their contact form. Let's take a look at their menu, okay? The menu wants to move, let me in, let me in. Okay, let's check out the menu. So we deliver projects about us. Let's take a look at the projects. So the projects is again, that quite static page, not too bad. I think that's just an anchor point, which takes me to that part on the page. About us, so a bit about the company, their awards. This is nice and clean and stylish. Oh, oh, I like that. <laughs> so we've got the character illustrations that load in their pictures. That's such a cool way of doing it. Because sometimes these pictures just look a bit dull and a bit uniform, but this using the illustrations and then loading up a photo, what a cool idea. So the clients, test Testimonials, that's pretty standard, but their homepage is just phenomenal. Let's just see that panda one more time. Awesome. Okay, next up, we've got Video Orbit. Now this one is pretty insane. So expand reality. And if I load this in again, you can see it actually draws in the typography, which is so nice. And as we scroll down, you can see we've got these particles coming in. Okay, that's pretty damn nice. The lighting on these is just beautiful. So we scroll down, we've got this figure with this kind of liquidy, 
a digital vision. Hello, okay. A walking figure. Oh, 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 let's just censor that. Okay, scroll down a bit more. And then as we get down to this part, we can see, oh, hang on, wait for it. Oh, customize. So at this point, where's it gone? Customize, so I can actually customize a character. So I can change the colors. Okay, yellow, pink, green, that's pretty damn nice. The glossiness, so we can actually change how shiny the element is. So we can go super shiny. Let's stick with super shiny, that's really nice. The blob count, so we can change how many elements there are on the actual character, the amount of blobs. Don't know what the blobs particularly <laughs> represent, and we can change the speed. So we've got some super fast blobs moving around a character. I'm not completely sure what that's for, but again, a super cool showcase of what they can do. They're a cutting edge decentralized XR art studio. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, look at this. Look at this wheel with their brands on. That's so nice. So as we scroll down, the brands just kind of go around in a circular effect. Ooh, and I can hover on them. Ooh, let's say click or pull. Okay, so that takes me to the menu. Let's try that again. So what can I do with that? Okay, no, no, no. Okay, maybe that was just the menu. Okay, so I can click or pull this menu at the top to pull. Wow, that liquid menu that I can pull down. Oh, oh, that's so satisfying. Oh. That actually might be my go-to for menus now. <laughs> That's the nicest menu opening I think I've seen in a long time. Okay, so we've got latest news. This hover effect seems to be quite common where hover and you can see an image. New trend coming, ooh, let's see. Quite simple at the bottom. Again, they've got this kind of liquid effect, which is super, super nice. So let's just take a look at some of their work. Okay, so I can browse their portfolio. Ooh, Coachella, these work with huge brands, but just look at that effect. That hover is so, so nice. Let's just go into one of these. Chelsea Flower Show, let's have a look at that one. Okay, so that shows a project. This is quite nice. What have they made here? Okay, so that's like an augmented reality type effect that they made, pretty damn cool. But overall, so nice, but I think that has to be it. I think that drop down menu is one of the nicest I've seen in so, so long. I just wanna keep pulling it down all day. Okay, next up, now this portfolio is crazy. So this is Joshua, an interaction designer, and just look at this, explore my world. Wow, so this world is his world that he's created with 3.js. So I can actually scroll around by dragging around. So if we look at this, let's just drag around. Oh, that's amazing. So let's see, where do we wanna go? Okay, so this tells you about what he's done. He's moved to Norway to study his masters. Pretty damn cool. Thank you for applying. Pretty damn cool, his master things. Today, I'm an interaction designer in Oslo. That's really, really cool. So then I can see his projects, but this wheel is just amazing. Like I just wanna spin on this all day okay <laughs> let's have a look so let's go to some of his work so uh masters view project okay so these are more standard and a similar layout but the speed in that it loads i mean the, the fact this loads instantly is just amazing like there wasn't even a kind of loading time when i loaded this page up which is crazy i feel like i wish she was coming the right way with me so i could race her around this little track but again pretty damn cool what else have we got on here? We've got the about section, quite basic, but that website is all about that. I mean, that's a website you would not forget. Explore my world, that's pretty amazing. It just shows you if that came through as a portfolio, it would stand out massively from the competition. So if you're looking for an interaction designer, check out Joshua's world. Next up, we've got this website, We Are Creative, which is pretty cool. But just look at this, I mean, it's kind of creepy, this face effect, but it's also pretty damn cool. Now this website just had such a nice layout and a nice design. The way they've laid out the elements with the illustrations and the subtle effects, it's just so nice to use. So if we go to the menu, I mean, look at that, Ooh, pretty cool. Not that relevant to what it actually is, but <laughs> let's go through it. What we do, this preloader I thought was amazing, the illustration and the way the text just loads in, so, so nice. We craft memorable website, we craft, we craft memorable websites and help brands grow. Pretty damn cool. So why work with us? And it just loads in, that loading effect is so, so nice. Definitely copying that, thank you. But I think overall this website is just so, so cool. So let's see what else we've got, we've got our work. This preloader is just so nice. So these guys have used 3.js, but they've used it much more subtly than other people. So it's kind of these elements that they've got moving on the screen here. Whereas the others have gone for like a standout 3D piece, these are using it more subtly. 
So it just shows you can use it and you don't have to go crazy on it, but it can look really nice. I think it just gives some depth to the page. Next up, we've got this website by Isaac Famey. This is a little bit different. So you come onto the website, this is what you see. It's his portfolio 2021 to 2022 from Lagos, Nigeria. You've been granted access by the 256. This site uses cookies for analytics. Okay, so let's enter that website and Hello. <laughs> so again, we've got one of these faces that follow you around. Seems to be a trend with the software, but this is him. And oh, oh, okay. I've just had some yellow smoke come up on the screen. So he's available for projects, pretty damn cool. And the face follows me around the screen, which is quite interesting. Let's go on info. So hello, and that's him. Again, pretty cool the way he's done this. It really breaks it up. And these little gifts that he's got in here really make it look so much more interesting and some text about him, collaborations. And he's even got this barcode with himself, which is pretty unique. And if we go back, we can also take a look at his work. So then with work, it actually expands and you can actually go, which I really like. So look how fast that opens. So it opens and what a cool way to present the different projects. So they just automatically slowly scroll through or I can drag through them. Really, really nice. But it's just a sheer speed. There's no delay. There's no loading time. You can just click and open these and you can go straight to the live website, which is so easy. So with 3.js, what you can do is actually just put really subtle effects or use it as kind of a main piece to kind of show off the website and then build the rest in a kind of standard way. So I hope this was interesting. Let me know if you're using 3.js and if your projects or if you've seen any cool sites down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.